What's up guys? It's Brian here, and today we've got an unboxing. We've got the Tico 3D printer. Just got funded on Kickstarter. I believe they are taking orders now, so if you like what you see, go ahead and uh, place an order for your own Tico printer. It's gonna be a smaller 3D printer, perfect for your desktop. Um, but we're gonna set it up, see what's in the box, print a couple things, see what they look like. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. So inside the box, looks like we've got the manual, the nice thank you card from Kickstarter, setup guide, and then the printer itself. As you can see, it's a nice compact size, perfect for a desktop. Looks like they even have a little piece printed in there as it was shipping, so. Inside we've got some blue filament, PLA filament, just the ABS. Here. So first things first, we've got the power adapter, we're just going to plug it in. And it should come on, just like that. Looking good so far. When it's a gentle glow light, the Chica is waiting to connect, the solid light means you're connected. And then when it goes dim, like it looks like it says it's downloading an update. Looks like it connects by Wi-Fi. So let's see if it pulls up. And now once we've connected to the Wi-Fi, you just go to print.tico. And this is gonna allow you to see the interface of it. So we're gonna connect it to my Wi-Fi here. And then navigate back to the print.tico. And we're just going to click start here. Let's add an object. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and just print. Let's see, let's do Squirtle here. STL file. There he is. Popping up on our interface. Seems fitting since we're doing blue filament. And let's go ahead and just load filament right there. Now once you click load filament, it'll start flashing like this, and it's got a place in the machine. I don't know if you can see in here, but right inside there's this little tube. You feed it in there and it should automatically grab it. And you do want to make sure that the spool is going clockwise so that it goes into the machine correctly here. I'll just feed this in. We'll start feeling it automatically pull filament in. Once it does that, let's set the rest of the filament inside here. And then we can see it spinning there, so we know that it's pulling the filament in still. Now for whatever reason, I could not at first figure out how to open this thing. I didn't know if it lifted or something, but you literally just pop the bottom off. And since it did come with a piece already, we'll just remove this from the print bed get some sort of like spatula to get that off and here's the piece that came on it it's just a little demo piece let's go ahead and put that back now what I really do like about the surface it says that um, if your item is not sticking to the surface to lightly um, spray it with hairspray now on my DaVinci we, I use like a glue stick What's cool about this surface is it is like a um, rubber surface, which is grooved. So the pieces really shouldn't be sliding or anything like that. We're all ready to go. We've got our squirtle here. And I'm going to go ahead and print. Looks like it auto-leveled it. Um, settings are already ready for PLA. Let's go ahead and start it. So initially it said it will do an auto leveling, so you don't have to adjust the leveling, which is what it did just then. And I'm assuming on the first time use it is going to auto level 
all three sides of the triangle there. So it does have a status bar. It looks like you can disconnect so you can continue using your laptop um, while it prints. It also says tilt to stop the print. So I guess all you have to do to stop the print is tilt the machine, which is interesting. So it has now started the print. Looks like it did the surrounding area just to test the filament and get a base. So this one uses a um, forward and backward and side to side infill here. I didn't change any of the settings before clicking print. I just went ahead and clicked print. Um, and I believe doing so was at a 25% infill. So this will be that 25% infill. Here's the finished piece. This is the Squirtle STL file printed on the Tico printer. It is a little bit rough, but I mean for a small compact $200 printer, that's not too shabby. For some reference, I also pulled out the Squirtle that I printed on the DaVinci 2.0. So as you can see, it is a bit smoother. Now this is going to be ABS plastic as to the PLA. So I'd say the Tico printer is perfect for, you know, getting your first printer. It's easy to use, very easy to use. Um, it can get a product out. Definitely good for prototyping and whatnot. So if you guys are interested in the Tico printer, looks like it will be available in about five days, which is going to be the 28th. So go ahead and go to their website, which is Tico3D.com, and place your order. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked this video, feel free to rate and subscribe. See ya.